This is the two-way ANOVA video on comparing models. This is a short video about the technical mechanics of comparing models. Models are compared as part of an analysis strategy. For example, for the two-way ANOVA, the usual analysis strategy begins with a test for interaction. Unless that interaction is both statistically and clinically significant, we then fit a simpler model without interaction, called a main effects model, and then finally separately test whether each of the main effects matters. The statistical test for interaction uses two models, one with only the main effects of the predictors, which we'll call factors A and B, and one with those main effects plus the interaction. Please note that the models are nested, that is, all the variables in the smaller model, called the reduced model, are also contained in the larger model, which is called the full model. The extra terms in the full model are the ones to be tested. The full model can add more than one predictor to the reduced model. This slide gives an example of testing whether all reference to factor B can be dropped, whether in a main effect or in an interaction. Returning to the test for interaction, what the statistical test does is to first generate the predicted values for every patient under the full model. For a two-way ANOVA model with interaction, these predicted values turn out to be the observed group needs. You now have enough information to calculate an ANOVA table. Since the ANOVA table requires knowing the value of the outcome for every patient, knowing the mean value of the outcome for the data set in a whole, and having a predicted value for every patient. From the ANOVA table, you can record the various sums of squares, degrees of freedom, and mean squares. Next thing that the statistical test does is to repeat the process for the reduced model. The key thing to notice is that predicted values will be different. This happens because the predicted values are constrained in such a way that the magnitude of the impact of factor A on the outcome is the same, regardless of the levels of factor B. Going across the rows of the 2x2 two two table for the main effects model, the difference between 40 and 20 is identical to the difference between 70 and 50. Because the predicted values are different from those of the full model, the ANOVA table will be different as well. Specifically, the reduced model won't fit as well. Its model sum of squares will be lower, and its error sum of squares will be higher. Using the printouts of the results from fitting the full and reduced model, Copy the numbers associated with each of the quantities on the slide, three from the full model and two from the reduced model. Then calculate the signal, which will be the numerator of the F statistic, and the noise, which will be its denominator. The partial F statistic is the ratio of the signal to the noise. It should be compared with an F distribution with the degrees of freedom as given on the slide. Please notice that the F distribution has not just one number representing degrees of freedom, but two. R has a function called partial, which will perform the entire partial F test for you.